Hello everyone, welcome to CrotoFlick. My name is Chad Bradle and today I'm going to show you how to build the Roto Rig, which I'm sure most of you have been waiting for about time, right? Anyways, I'm going to try to make this tutorial swift and to the point. So what I'm going to do is post all the tools you will need in the description below, as well as all the parts and the quantities in the description below. And I will also post a link to a file that you can download the drilling diagram for the brackets this uh, tutorial will be based on the fact that you know how to use a drill and you know how to measure for the points. So with that in mind, I will systematically show you how to put this together and at the end I will give uh, some brief information over the rig itself. And let's go. Get your monopod, grab the handle, slide it down over the Targus logo or whatever logo you have. Now cut a scrap piece of material and wrap it around the top and attach it with electrical tape. Grab a ground clamp. Attach it over top of the material without attaching it over top of the screws underneath. Now make sure it's nice and snug and make sure that this hole aligns with this groove. Now repeat this process at the end two locks down just in front of uh, just behind this lock right here and at the very foot and so they're all following the same groove and also that this will latch this way in that direction now do the exact same thing to the other monopod except at the center point what you're going to do is take two of your ground clamps and you're gonna actually bolt them together back to back using a couple of your nuts as you can see right here. So it's gonna have this side and this side, and they're gonna be sticking out this side. And then follow the groove once again. Once you have all your holes drilled according to the diagram, go ahead and get your brackets and find the points where you will be putting your bolts through. Take your bolt, run a nylon washer uh, through it. So the bolt's point pointing in, then Take a second nylon washer, put it right in there, and follow that up with a lock nut. Tighten that down. Once you have the nylon uh, nut snug, go ahead, clamp back down on top of it, and then carefully back off the screw until you're able to turn it inside of here with uh, a little bit of drag, but not wobbly, so it's still tight. And now I'll follow that up with a normal nut. Just like that. So you should have two of them that look just like that on your front bracket. Go ahead and do this same process to the rest of your brackets. When you go to do the same process to the smaller brackets, Make sure that on the other side where your nylon washer goes, you snip off the sides so that the nylon washer fits just inside of this groove and doesn't fit in there funny. This is where you would use a heavy duty pair of scissors for that. Once you have all your one inch bolts in place in your brackets, go ahead and on your rear bracket, get one of your extra bolts that you will have from one of your ground clamps, run it inside of a quarter inch washer run it up through the center and then tighten it down with a lock nut as you see here Then follow that with a fender washer and a quarter inch nut. Your weights will mount right here and then when your weight is in this gap you can set this other fender washer on top and tighten it down and hold it in place with a wing nut. When you go to add your handles onto the brackets Go ahead and take a piece of your foam, put it on top of the bracket itself, and then squeeze electrical tape around it and squeeze it down against the bracket, and then cut another piece at a full length, and you should be able to slide it right over top like so, and this is if you decide to use this particular type of handle. When you go to attach your quick release uh, plate, if you decide to get one, go ahead and cut out a square piece of rubberized uh, matting or some type of sticky material that you may have, take an extra leftover nut from your ground clamp 
and put it through a quarter inch washer and then just run it through the hole that you will be drilling in the diagram through the bottom and then use this to attach our quick release plate. When you go to attach your quick release plate to the bottom of your roto rig, a couple options you could do is one, get a 10 30 second bolt. This one's excessively long, but just to show you that it fits right inside the groove here without any uh, drilling and then a quarter inch bolt or you can get a bolt and just grind down the bottom just below the head so that it actually slides in the groove of your plate and this is a quarter inch so you have a couple options there. And now to start putting things together. What I do is actually just uh, start off by mounting this right to your tripod, your center plate. Next, get your monopod where you have both ends of the ground clamp pointing in uh, both directions. And obviously make sure they're all facing this first way for the big clamp here and just butt it up to the screw and tighten it down. Go ahead and grab your second monopod, do the exact same thing, put the center up to the screw. like that. Go ahead and get your front bracket and remember that you already have your quick release plates attached at both points. Remember to do that before you do this and just attach. Now we're going to go ahead and mount the rear bracket on where our weights would be. Also remember if there's anything that needs aligning you can always go back, loosen some of your ground clamps and just kind of twist it a little bit and align it that way. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the last bracket on kind of looks like this and you'll see it in the diagram and this is the bracket where you'll actually be having the bolt face this direction. Go ahead and take your one inch bolt with a washer, feed it through the bottom, followed by a washer on top and a lock nut. Once again for the foam handles what you'll end up doing is just getting a piece of uh, this and cutting it so it fits around the bracket you're trying to attach it to and then snug it up with electrical tape that way it kind of takes up the space i already made one and then take uh, your foam slide it right over top of all of it once you have everything attached what you're going to end up doing is these little nuts that uh, those extra nuts we put inside just next to the lock washers, lock nuts, we're gonna go ahead and tighten them against the ground clamps. And what we're gonna try to do is keep the bolts from spinning. And 
and this is gonna make it much more solid as well. And there you go, everything should be pretty tight. Um, if you have any problems with uh, trying to extend out the legs, it may mean that you have over tightened the ground clamps against the rods. So you may have to back them off just a tad in order for these to slide out smoothly. Um, also, if this is excessively tight, then you may need to tighten the lock nuts inside or vice versa if it's excessively loose. Something else that you'll want to uh, be aware of is when you actually go to attach your camera and weight, you will want to do that last. Make sure you extend this out to whatever point you want it to be extended to first and then put your camera and weights on it. Otherwise, what can happen is that if this becomes a little bent or bowed from the weight, it could cause it to not slide out as smoothly and you might have some issues. Um, it's pretty, it's, uh, I'd say it's pretty sturdy. Um, the only thing is it might twist a small amount right here if you have a very, uh, kind of like a lot of drag on your fluid head. Uh, mine is very cold right now, so it has quite a bit of drag. If you run into a point where one of your bolts makes any type of noise because the metal on metal is rubbing or the threads on the metal is rubbing funny, um, it's possible that maybe there's a burr or the hole isn't quite drilled out properly. So go ahead and check that, maybe redrill it. And I mean, if you want to, you could even put like some type of lubricant in there if you wish. Um, I only had that happen with one and I fixed it. So it seems to be uh, pretty good right now. If you want to replace some of the longer bolts that come with your ground clamps, what you can do is take these small ones that are on the front of them that you were replacing with the one inch and just put them on your front sets because the rods, uh, the monopod rod is thinner. So you can go ahead and put it on all four points right here, 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 here. And also in the top part, if you want to, you can replace the longer ones with the one inch as well. So there you have it, the Roto Rig. I hope you get plenty of great use out of yours. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Feel free to subscribe for future projects that may not yet exist on the market. And also follow me on Google+, Facebook, Twitter. And if you would like to, you can possibly donate to say, hey, thanks for this great device. I'm getting great use out of it. Anyways, until next time, see you later.